Hello you one! I'm here back with you this Monday to read you a story. Our story today is called The Badger's Bath by Nick Butterworth. So let's have a read. This is from the Percy the Park Keeper collection. So, The Badger's Bath. Get yourself comfy and we'll begin. The badger had been doing what badgers do best, digging. He'd had a lovely day and, as usual when he'd had a lovely day, he was filthy dirty. I'm very sorry, said Percy, the park keeper, but you can't come to tea like that. The badger looked disappointed. You'll just have to have a bath, said Percy. The badger looked even more disappointed. Why do you think the badger looked disappointed? That's right, I think he didn't want to have a bath. First, Percy filled a tin bath with warm, soapy water. When he brought out all the things that he liked to use himself, when he had a bath. Soap, a loofah, his back brush, a sponge, some shampoo and of course his rubber duck. The badger sniffed at the soapy water. He didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. Why do you think the, bath, uh, the badger didn't like the bath water? Let's have a see what we can find out. Percy thought for a moment when he disappeared and came back with a jug which he used for wetting his hair and a shower cap which he used for not wetting it. There, I think that's everything, said Percy. He turned to the badger. Now, all we need... But the badger was nowhere to be seen. Hmm, said Percy. Now all we need is the badger. What do you think's happened to the badger? I think he might have been trying to hide from Percy. Let's have a little see. The badger was hiding. He didn't want a bath. Percy searched and searched, but he couldn't find the badger anywhere. He was getting very hot and bothered. I really can't understand it, he said. I always enjoy a bath myself. Percy sighed <sighs> as he looked at the bath full of soapy water. Then he had an idea. He went into his hut. What do you think Percy's idea was? There's lots of things he could have been doing. He could be looking for the badger in there. He might even be going to have a bath himself. Let's see. When Percy came out again, he was wearing his swimming trunks. Well, why not, he said to himself. He chuckled as he stepped out of his boots and into the bath. <laughs> why do you think he's chuckling? That's right, because he said he liked to go in the bath. Percy lay back in the warm water and gazed up through the overhanging branches of a tree. Silly old badger, thought Percy. I wonder where he's hiding. There was a sudden rustling above his head and something black and white moved amongst the leaves. A strange idea came into Percy's mind. No, surely not, he said to himself. Badgers don't climb trees. It must have been a magpie. The rustling noise came again. 
Badgers don't climb trees. Who does he think is... What did he think he saw? Or what do you, sorry, think he saw up the tree? Let's have a see. I think he saw it. I think he saw it. I think he saw the badger. Let's have a see. Suddenly there was a loud crack with a great howl. A large black and white animal fell out of the tree, straight into Percy's bath water. Splush! How do you think Percy felt? And he's dropped into the bath water. For a moment, the badger completely disappeared. Then his head popped up through the soap suds, coughing and spluttering. <coughs> Percy was spluttering too, but with laughter. I see you changed your mind having, uh, about having a bath, he chuckled. I suppose you didn't want to miss your tea. <laughs> What are soap suds? That's my question for this page. What are soap suds? It's another word we use for them. These are soap suds. They're like bubbles. They are bubbles. I know badgers climb. I didn't know badgers climb trees, said Percy. Well, said the badger, we're better at digging, he sighed. Could you pass me the loofah, please? Why do you think the badger wants the loofah? I remember a loofah is one of those squishy, netty things that you wash with in the bath. So that's right, he's trying to wash. The... End. I hope you enjoyed the Badger's Bath with Percy the Park Keeper, Year One, and I look forward to bringing you a story for tomorrow. <laughs>